Welcome to One Day from Sapporo, Japan. Today I will be introducing Hokkaido University. So Hokkaido University is about just five minutes from Sapporo Station. And I will show you some of my favorite places inside. So let's go. And there's lots of people actually taking photos. But this is not the best part of the university for the autumn leaves. We actually have um, what we call Popular Avenue that I'm going to take you around soon. And it's just a whole street lined with beautiful trees. And all of these trees actually turn red and orange and yellow shades during the autumn. Okay, so right now we're passing Hokkaido University Central Lawn. So Central Lawn, um, a lot of the students during their breaks, so when they have a free period, they'll come to this Central Lawn and just study. Um, some people play like music out here, play guitar. Right now it doesn't look super warm and comfortable because it's a bit chilly outside. So we're just going to walk down to the park I think. Go have a look. Wow, there's so many fallen leaves right now. And as you can see, it's really beautiful. So on a Sunday, this park will be really, really busy during um, the warmer months. And lots of families just come here and there'll be lots of kids playing in the water right here. So this park is probably one of my favorite parks to come to, I think. So Hokkaido University Central Lawn. So you can even hear the birds right now. And outside of the Central Lawn, just on the corner, there is the bust of Sir William Clark. Clark, as he's commonly known by Hokkaido University students. Um, he's the founder of Hokkaido University. He only stayed for about eight months, I think, and helped open up um, Hokkaido University. But he's just quite famous now because he has a slogan, boys be ambitious. And across from the park, we have a really beautiful white building that's it's very old style. So it seems like something from America. No, it's not very Japanese-like, so it's kind of reminiscent of um, like Hokkaido's frontier days, back when Clark was still founding the place. This is one of the earlier buildings, and it's called Furukawa Hall, which is a very cute name. The museum now, and I'll just show you right now. Okay, so let's go in. So because of the coronavirus, we just have to make sure we get our body temperature taken and we have to put alcohol on our hands. Let's have a look at this. I wonder if I can see my house here. Oh, around us we have the history of Hokkaido University. So it was first made in 1876. And there's some samurai there. Ooh. Well, and then we've got boys be ambitious again. So this is a section dedicated to Clark by the looks of it. Here's Clark. William S. Clark. It's pretty amazing that it's free to get in here. There's actually a lot of stuff. So it's too bad I couldn't show you the rest of the museum. So we'll head over and look at the cafe now. And probably this is also where you can buy some more souvenirs. So this is the cafe. Freedom <laughs> from the mask. So we're coming out of the museum now and we're going to walk over to Seiko Mart. So Seiko Mart is just another convenience store chain here in Japan. In my personal opinion, Seiko Mart is the best, conv like, best convenience store. Um, they have excellent fried chicken. So if you want fried chicken, go to Seiko Mart when you're in Sapporo or anywhere else in Hokkaido. <laughs> and at this Seiko Mart, there's actually a terrace area. So it's two floors. Um, so the first floor, you just have like regular like food items or anything that you'd find in a convenience store but up the top there is a terrace and like during the warmer months you lots of people actually sit up there and drink beer because like inside the um the convenience store they actually sell alcohol so you can buy a beer or something else 
and just go up to the top floor and enjoy the sunshine while looking at the beautiful trees and scenery. And also on the second floor, before you go out to the terrace area, there is like sitting space. So lots of students actually sit in there and study all the time. It seems strange to recommend just going to a convenience store when you're in the university campus, but it's super beautiful here, I think. So that was Sekomat. Yeah, just directly across from Sekoma, basically, there is the Ono Pond. It's just the pond that actually links up to the, um, the little river that we saw in Central Park. So somehow the water from that Central Park comes here to Ono Pond. So let's go have a look at it now. Wow, the reflections in the water are so beautiful here. This is probably a really good spot for a picnic, I think. Not that today's the best day. It's not completely sunny but on a good day it would be super nice to have a picnic here I think. Let's have a look at the across the pond. It's so nice here. I think I could probably have a nap right now. Okay so let's keep walking along the main road of the university and see what else we can find. Well right now on our left side there's an area with lots of autumn leaves, like the whole ground is covered with leaves. Let's have a look right now. Wow, look at all those leaves. Autumn is so pretty in this university. How nice is that? And there's so many leaves below my feet right now. It's like kind of magical standing under these trees. But seriously, look at my feet. Well, so the sun's come out a little bit now. But that is one of the magical things about living in Hokkaido because you can see four distinct seasons, even just in Hokkaido University. So you have the autumn leaves, then you have the uh, winter, so completely white. And then after that, you even get some cherry blossoms before you get to enjoy the summer. Wow, look at this. So beautiful. And across the road, I'm gonna take you to the famous Ginkyo Avenue. So after leaving the pond, we can head through Hokkaido University's famous Ginkyo Avenue. So a Ginkyo is a type of tree and it changes depending on the season. So right now it's a super beautiful yellow color. So I'm just going to turn the camera around and show you how nice it is right now. And the footpath is completely covered with leaves. It's so pretty. So if we keep following this path, we'll go back to the main road. Well, one of the main roads that heads to, that heads to Sapporo Station. There's a whole bunch of kids walking past now. Must be a school group. Oh, so cute! <laughs> but right now all the trees are all above me. It's like a tunnel. So from now we're going to go look at the poplar trees. Wow. Autumn is just the best here, I think. Ah, it's a big walk. I'm really tired already. And right now directly in front of me, there is Hokkaido University Farm. Well, one part of the farm because the farm is really really big so that's one part of the farm um there's also sheep and cows inside this farm so maybe if we're lucky we can see some cows today it's still really crazy to realize that this university is in the central of Sapporo city and there is a farm so you can basically live in Sapporo city and still feel like you're in the countryside So we've reached the end of the road and we've come to the Poplar Avenue. So let's check out a poplar tree. Uh, this is Poplar Avenue and this is one of the far ends of Hokkaido University. But if you look beyond, so just over here, That, that is still university. So beyond that way, there is Sapporo Station. 
but it just kind of shows you how huge this university is. So, that was Hokkaido University guys. And probably it's not your usual tourism spot, but if you come to Sapporo City, I highly recommend checking it out. So what did we see today? We saw Ono Pond. So that was that beautiful pond. And we had the central lawn, great place for a picnic. Also, if you want a midday nap, very, very beautiful when the sun's out. And we have Seiko Mart. So if you go to Seiko Mart, don't forget to grab yourself a beer, head up to the terrace and just enjoy it. But hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you guys.